Hey, Mystery Science Theater, Riff Tracks fans, just like me, for years we've been watching Riff Tracks live. Uh, for me, on my Roku app or on their website, through uh, different streaming avenues. And I've been enjoying titles like Space Mutiny. By far my favorite, but there's also Giant Spider Invasion, Miami Connection, I could go on and on, of the different live performances. And a shout out to Project Misty. Check him out. Look at the link below and the link in the description, Project Mystery, where he's doing AI upscale to 4K of all of our favorite Mystery Science Theater projects. So check that out. But for the first time tonight, I got to see them in the theater. This was really exciting to be among my fellow Mystery Science Theater and Riff Tracks fans and to be laughing together and enjoying this experience together was very special. And I feel honored and privileged to experience that tonight, this time with Point Break, the classic Patrick Swayze and Keanu Reeves. It was really amazing. I shot video of my trip there and a little bit of video because of copyright issues. I couldn't record too much. And so let's watch that now. And then I have a review coming up. So what, stay tuned for the review of Riff Tracks Live Point Break. I am off to my very first Riff Tracks Live, and I'm really excited about this because I haven't seen them in the theater before. I, uh, I've seen, of course, I think all of the Riff Tracks Live events on video, you know, streamed from their site. But uh, to go see it live in the theater and hopefully meet some other Mystery Science Theater and other Rift Track fans. Kind of excited about this. Uh, you know, I, my family does not get into this at all. Uh, this is my thing. I really enjoy Mystery Science Theater. I watch way too much of it. And I also enjoy Rift Tracks, watch way too much of that. So the fact that I, I may get to go meet some fellow fans, people who appreciate this type of comedy, I'm really excited. So I'm going to go away and drive now. I'm going to be, I want to be careful. My wife told me not to record in the car. I'm recording in the car. So, uh, I'm being naughty right now, but the point is guys, I'm excited. I'm on my way to Rift Tracks Live to watch Point Break. That's right. Rift Tracks Live Point Break in the theater. This is Loud Boy. Thanks for joining me. I've been listening to some music, specifically Dave Matthews, Under the Table and Dreaming. My daughter, by the way, wearing my Rift Tracks shirt, on the way to see Rift Tracks, as you know, Point Break, live in the theater. My daughter has been merciless to Dave Matthews, specifically his voice. However, one cannot deny that Under the Table and Dreaming, the album that came out in the 90s, is a masterpiece. Amazing music. And as a drummer, as someone who also plays saxophone, the fact that they're, the drummer is spectacular, so underrated, the drummer for Dave Matthews, but then the sax player and the violin player filling in part of the gap where guitars normally would be, would be in that kind of mid-range acoustic rhythm space of a rock band. Um, it's just Dave Matthews is a special thing, doing something very unique um, and a lot of complex arrangements and just great mastery of instruments. So I just want to say that in defense of Dave Matthews, Under the Table and Dreaming is an amazing album. I better uh, put this down now and drive. I, I'm being safe. I've got, but you know, I am driving. <laughs> so again, this is Loud Boy checking in on my way to Riff Tracks. It's going to be awesome. Check out that sky. All right, so I live out in the country, uh, and I had to drive into the city just to see uh, the show tonight. Worth it. And uh, it's been lovely. I've been listening to some music, and I was reminiscing, though, as I listened to Dave Matthews' band, specifically the 90s album, the one that was my entry point into Dave Matthews, which is Under the Table and Dreaming. So I'm listening to that, and I love so many tunes on that album. But I'm reminiscing, though, because it was in that same period of time. I was in college, and I was dating what would now be my wife. 
all these years later, we're still married, um, and we were dating at the time, and, and it was right around the same time I discovered Mystery Science Theater. It played on, you know, it was on a local affiliate late at night. It played like 2.30 in the morning, you know, 2 in the morning, uh, you know, it's an hour and a half show, so it'd be on in the middle of the night. And, you know, college students, uh, there are no clocks. It doesn't matter what time it is. So, uh, and often um, I'd be over late, just hanging out before I went back to my dorm. That was my entry point to Mystery Science Theater, to Mike, Kevin, and Bill. And that was around the time that uh, Bill joined the fray and, uh, and Mike became the host and took over from Joel. So, of course, those three guys are now Rift Tracks and have been for many, many years. So I was kind of reminiscing about when I discovered Mystery Science Theater. It was a breath of fresh air. The creativity, the, the originality, the skits and the, 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 the segments in between. Oh, there goes the Cybertruck. Um, <laughs> my son likes to, when my, my son and I play Fortnite together, he's just like, he wants to have that Cybertruck. And whenever every time someone leaves one behind, you know, we always get it. He hops into bed and I drive the Cybertruck around. Okay, I digress. The point is, guys, I'm stoked to go being seeing uh, Rift Tracks. I'm thrilled to go see them for the in first time miles. in the... Take the interchange on the left. Ah, I got to turn soon. It's all right. That's my cue. I'll talk to you guys at the theater. It loud boy out. All right. We have arrived at the theater. The giant Cinemark Theater. This is it. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. We're moments away from watching Riff Tracks live point break. So I got it. Riff Tracks live. I'm told that it's uh, Theater 9. There it is, guys. Riff Tracks live. Pretty cool, huh? Here we go. Yeah, this could be pretty cool. All right, let's go watch a movie. It's time for Well, that was great. Rift Tracks Live, Point Break. One of the best ones that they've ever done. Very funny. A lot of 90s referential stuff that, you know, was enjoyable. So, anyway, really enjoyed it. Well, as you can see, that was my experience going to being at the theater and then thereafter. And I'm going to do a review of my thoughts and my comments completely off the cuff, off the top of my brain, as they come to me. Number one, watching Rift Tracks live in a theater with fellow Mystery Science Theater, fellow Rift Tracks fans was amazing. And I wore this shirt. <laughs> I proudly wore this shirt. You know, I know there was a movie, and a joke in a movie once, like, don't be the guy. I think it was singles back in the, speaking of the 90s. Uh, where don't be the guy that wears a shirt to the concert you're going to. Me being a Rush fan, I've never worn a Rush shirt to a Rush concert, save for the ones that I bought there. But anyway, but I did. I wore this proudly tonight because I felt part of a community, and it was really great to be among them, to be laughing with them and enjoying this over-the-top movie. And by the way, I had forgotten it's directed by Kathleen Bigelow, um, who went on, I believe, to do The Hurt Locker in Point Break, Watching it again, it really makes me wonder if this could be an alternate edit. Um, they mentioned in the beginning, spoiler alert, that there is a 4K version coming up. So if you didn't get to see it in the theater uh, several days ago and today on August 13th, you'll get to see it. All right, They're going to be releasing a 4K version. That'll be great. Uh, beyond that, though, it makes me wonder if they recut it for the video release because of this. For the majority of the movie was done, quote, traditional Rift Track style, meaning that we didn't see the three camera boxes of the guys, except for literally about 2% of the movie, which was actually kind of enjoyable because I got immersed in the experience of Point Break, for good or for bad. Since then, though, I'm a huge fan of the first Matrix movie. 
and I really love the John Wick series. I'm actually, I really enjoy the work of Keanu Reeves and the work he puts into his performance. I've seen footage of Keanu Reeves on a gun range practicing, you know, pulling out, pulling out his pistol to pulling out his, his regular rifle and shooting targets and doing quick change. And you can see all that in his performance as John Wick, right? The way he, he can throw out a clip and put a new one in and, and, and reload it and, and load the chamber all like this, like, like a pro. That is skill. That is experience that he's put into his performance, and I respect that. I really respect Keanu Reeves these days. Of course, R.I.P. Patrick Swayze. We lost him several years ago. Um, he was really good in this role for what it was, right? Again, this is over-the-top, testosterone-driven movie, but it is what it is, and it is, it is a good ride. It's not the worst movie in the world. And what I love, though, is that the guys, as usual, were respectful to not only the characters. They made fun of them. They made jokes, of course, but nothing that was over the top demeaning. And they made reference to Keanu Reeves during a certain time period. His, whoa, whoa, man. It's kind of surfer motif in that you get from Bill and Ted's and that kind of thing. Or the first Matrix movie, when Morpheus jumps from building to building, he does this prerequisite. We have to go, whoa. That was really cool. And there, there, was, there was reference, there were jokes about that, but it never felt demeaning to Keanu, which I really liked. They did mention John Wick once. Uh, when somebody threw a dog at him in Point Break at his character, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny Utah, they said, hey, that's John Wick. The last thing you want to be doing is throwing a dog at John Wick. Of course, we know the, uh, the, the motivation between the first movie that they killed his dog. They killed my dog. And every bad guy in that movie understood, like, I know why he's coming to kill us. You don't kill a dog. Nobody wants to kill a puppy. You have to be pure evil. Well, that was pointed out, and they made reference to that, and it, that was great. You know, again, this is one of my top, if not close, one, I mean, the Space Mutiny, and, and maybe number two now is Point Break, and just my enjoyment of it. Again, be, seeing it in the theater was a whole new experience. Laughing with my fellow Mystery Science Theater, my fellow Rift Tracks fans, was special, and, and and enjoying that 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 camaraderie between us, I I, I enjoyed it immensely. The movie it, it never felt long. The guys kept up with the action. And again, we want we got to watch the movie, right? Most of the time we had a full sixteen by nine or at least one by two three uh, aspect ratio of the movie. Once in a while we get the sixteen by nine with the three pictures of of Kevin, Bill, and, and um, Mike on the side. But most of the time, we got to actually watch the movie, which is, you know, our traditional riff track style. Get this when it comes out. Buy the, the hard copy or, or, or get the digital version through riff tracks. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. It was really special to get to go tonight, and I really enjoyed the movie. So if you haven't yet, I have a complete 101 riff track slash mystery science theater playlist that's on my channel where all my favorite things from the live streaming stuff to their immense catalog of movies they've covered. That's on my channel, so check that out. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. These have been my thoughts and comments. I'd love to know what you think. If you got to see it live, let me know in your comments below. If you haven't yet and you have any questions, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Like it if you like it. Subscribe. That'd be great. This is Loud Boy. I thank you so much for joining me. And it, it was a lot of fun tonight. I had a l really good time. So until next time, this is Loud Boy signing off. Have a good night. It's time to